Marvel Legends, we got Toxin here in the nice Venom packaging, which we've seen before from the Venom Wave with Monster Venom, this guy. Boom. Looking fantastic. So this is uh, Entertainment Earth delivery. You know, I just finished complaining about how they're getting stuff late now and they got a bunch of stuff early and I happen to not pre-order a lot of the stuff from there. They are shipping Hawkeye, Old Man Hawkeye, Old Man Logan. They're shipping pyro and rogue they're shipping toxin they're shipping domino from the deadpool movie they're shipping mystique from the x-men movies great stuff coming our way and uh it's just summer heat wave here in los angeles so i'm sweating it out making this video let's focus on the figure though marvel's toxin looking fantastic this is the second toxin we've got in the marvel legends wave from hasbro i'll, I'll go ahead and bust out the original toxin uh, this looks good. Again, white packaging, similar. You can see the Venom logo there. Toxin himself looking crazy huge. Look at him there. Crazy art. Those little gross tendril mouth things. Decent, decent posing and pictures there. Looking good. So look at that. More of his uh, tentacles. Uh, we'll take a look at that because you can see his tentacles are all packed here, but we don't have painted mouths like that over those looking good though let's rip this dude open so real quick the insert here black white some webs not as cool as the venom one which was a nice purple uh and it's packed in like this sideways uh toxin himself is uh obviously split since he is at bath he is split just to fit nicely in the card and we get these packed behind down here so it's just a ton of tendrils and stuff all right let's for real get them out so here we are toxin out of the package looking fantastic god this red and black look fantastic in person some assembly required so if you've you know build the venom the monster venom uh build the figure or purchase the big eddie brock monster venom you know what you're in for uh these tendrils here are part of the arm it's right out the package so this is basically how he is right out of the package look at that Let's just admire this detail here. Holy cow, this is a nice green applied to the tongue and the inside of the mouth. Nice black. You know, I, I was thinking, so like the Hulk, they're getting a lot of use out of that Hulk body. We're getting a lot of use out of this Venom body. Uh, Monster Venom, uh, Matt Gargan, Eddie Brock, Monster Venom, Toxin. Who else can we see? Uh, this head, this black, this red. Uh, just I know he was from a video game, but like Venom Deadpool would be another one I'd like to see. And uh, let me know who else you'd like to see on the Symbiote Buck. Uh, Riot? I don't recall if Riot was a big dude. I'm sure he was. Holes where your, your tendril accessories are going to snap in. Yeah, look at this face. So good. Nice, Nicely painted yellow eyes. Nice black and red contrast there. This black to red or this red to black, depending on which direction you're looking and you're heading down towards. What am I saying? Fantastic is what I'm saying. It looks good. This is painted nicely. This is a nice red, nice green. Blending into those blacks. I mean, even some black in the tongue. You can see in the creases of that tongue. So good, dude. Uh, again, we've seen this before twice now um i will go go ahead and go over articulations this will be the second time covering this this figure type this body on the channel i didn't cover the monster venom wave um but we'll just do it just for shits and giggles so look at that so that's that's really my only gripe is i wish these were painted we see them there look at that with the green that nice green those teeth i know it's a lot to ask for for a 29.99 figure customizers and just dudes with ambition to just have the best looking toxin in their collection are gonna have a field day so it's not just that i mean we got this piece here we got some more mouths there closed mouth there another one there um, these are just tentacles on the tray oh we got some really we got a crazy one right there look at that oh yeah man these painted up are gonna look nice i can't wait to see someone do that on instagram that's definitely somebody's project once they get this figure in hand. Let's let's get all these pieces on though. So again, the accessories, uh, this is already falling out of the tray. 
tendrils and tendrils. So as you can see here on his back, we got a half circle. Well, it's not a, it's more than a half circle, but with the flat tip and like this weird sharp piece there. So that would go with this one. And we'll just slide that right in. Oh, I don't think I got that all the way in, but it fits nicely. This one, as you can see, this will go upright like that. That matches there. And that goes in nicely. And yeah, look at him resting on his shoulders even. Man, that looks good. It's kind of a mess. This one, uh, this arm one is getting in the way. Oh, this top one, it's cool stuff. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're very flimsy and, and, and whatnot, but they look good. So they look good. Again, I just wish they were painted. Oh, well, uh, we did get these extra ones and where do they go? Oh, so the accessories have ports themselves. So this one was on the left side. Let's see the shape. Let me see the next one. Yeah, all right. Boom. Oh my gosh, what a mess. This looks crazy. Boom. And it's just a crazy curly symbiote mess here. Look at that. Wow. It's just, just a lot of chaos here. <laughs> Look at that from the side. It just looks like a tangled mess of these tendrils and tentacles and mouths and So good. I mean, given how well and, and finely painted this face is, again, I got to just complain one more time. I wish these were painted. That would, God, this figure would stand out so much. Man, look at that. Looks good. They don't weigh the figure down necessarily. So, you know, he's standing upright pretty well. They are fairly light. And again, I mean, it's an accessory with accessories clipped into them. I'm happy. This looks good. This is a this is a fun figure. Boy, my son's gonna love this. He's been bugging me to open it. I was like, I need, I need the figure in package on on camera, so he'll get a chance to enjoy this. Kids really do love. I mean, you could see as they're marketing um, symbiotes, you know, venomized waves towards kids, and I don't know what it is, what the appeal is. I know I don't think Todd McFarlane or anybody else had that in mind. You know, the kids will love this, but. 30, however many years later since Venom's debut, like, the kids do love this. Awesome. I can't get over how good that, like, I feel like we don't see a nice green <laughs> like this on figures. Uh, I choose the weirdest things to just hone in on and admire. Let's do, let's just do articulation. All right, Toxin here in front of us. Popping this off. We know he's on a hinge. The head is on a ball joint. You can do a full 360 if you want. You can get some okay down. That's about as far as that's going to go. Uh, articulated jaw would have went a long way, but you know what? The other ones didn't have it, so why would this one up only so far as well? Oh, there we go. That's a good up. Look at that. Um, just a reminder, this is a Build-A-Figure. I'm betting parts are going to pop off right now. Uh, we'll see. Arms up that far. See what I mean? Arms up that far. I'm going to blame the weather, though. It is very like warm out here in Los Angeles, so... Uh, arms up that far again. No, no butterfly. We've seen this body before. Uh, some of you have not. There is a bicep cut. There is a single jointed elbow. There is, a, look at that, pop this out. But you can see a forward and back type of hinge on both hands. So we'll get this hand popped back in. And everything goes back in easily. You know, you might, if this is your first guy and things start popping off, don't worry. They, they go back in easily. Nice ab crunch. Look at that forward. Look at that back, very, very little back compared to the forward. Waist swivel, legs out so far. There is a thigh cut on both thighs. Forward only that far, double jointed knees. A back only that far for the whole leg. Uh, we do get a boot cut, or since there is no boot, we'll call it in a shin cut. Just, it just It's a weird, just clean cut right down the middle. Uh, you know, I don't think I mentioned this last time, but this figure might have benefited from toe articulation. Maybe not, but you do get a nice 
far back, a decent forward, look at that, and a ridiculous pivot. Is awesome, and some stuff fell out. Tentacles fell out. Great figure, greatly painted figure. Uh, I feel like I say it at least once every review. A little, a little bit of paint and some accessories goes a long, long way. Toxin with Toxin. So I believe this Toxin was from the Ultimate Green Goblin Wave, very early uh, in, in the packaging style we know now. Amazing Spider-Man 2, I guess, would be that wave. Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, Black Cat, this Toxin, Carnage. Who am I blanking on? I'm blanking on somebody else from that wave. Uh, good wave, but this Toxin, not so much. This looks like a symbiote rabbit. You know, if we just had some ears, it would just be a bunny. So we did see this body used again for the Venom in the Venom Wave very recently. But yeah, this big toxin in, you know, boots is a much needed improvement. As you can see, it is a darker color fading to the red, similar as we have there. They just went with black. Uh, you know, why not? Someone's going to ask, so why not? Uh, no. Yeah, that's not going to work, obviously. We'll pin him. Maybe you've seen this dude at the gym. I don't know. And here, holy hell, this is a child in an adult's mask. <laughs> you know, the more I see this, I don't mind it. Ridiculous. Let's move on to other height comparisons. Getting the obvious ones out of the way. Toxin's big, big head does give him a little bit of a height over the Matt Gargan build a figure Venom. Same with the Eddie Brock. But don't these, man, these look great together. I love it. And then any day I can bust out the May Shelf, Eddie Brock and Cletus Cassidy heads is a good day. So here is our new Toxin with uh, two Venom wave figures, uh, re-releases sort of, Venom himself and Carnage. Again, both with May Shelf heads looking fantastic. So this Carnage was, again, originally in the wave that this this original Toxin came in. Um, God, these look great. And, uh, this is what happens if you were like, Hey, what would happen to you two had a baby? Um, this is, this is what would happen. And it's not a baby. Here he is with another, uh, very recent Marvel Legends release, the Age of Apocalypse Apocalypse. And just because I think I compared the last one with the Hulk. So here's Toxin with the uh, Grey Hulk, Marvel Legends, just the bigger, bulky, heavier Marvel Legends figures together. And of course, we couldn't leave our man, Spider-Man. Uh, this is the latest Spider-Man from the Retro Wave, standing next to this recently released Toxin figure. Awesome. You know, at this point, if you're seeing these uh, these repaints and with minor accessory adjustments as just cash grabs, then just stop collecting because that's what Marvel Legends is going to do. They're going to reuse parts. They probably don't green light new bodies unless they have three or four characters they, they can guarantee to make. So I think this is awesome. I think, uh, you know... I love the paint. I love the sculpt on this head. I love these uh, gross tendrils everywhere and, and mouths flying off him. He's a fantastic figure, a fantastic buy, and I think he's worth your money. $29.99 plus shipping and tax, depending on where you go. Uh, again, mine was from Entertainment Earth. No guarantee if you pre-order today that you'll get yours soon. However, you know, I'm sh you're going to have this figure before the end of the year. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you again for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you All soon. All right, guys, just as I was editing this, these pictures appeared online. I'm guessing from Hasbro, we get a look at the new Venom Wave, and the bath is Venom Pool. Wishes do come true. Can't tell if he's using the Matt Gargan uh, bath Venom parts, but whatever. We are getting a movie Venom, alternate head, alternate hands, looking awesome. Paint looks a little weird. Looks like lightning on him. Carnage looks like the same Carnage body, just different paint, a lot of black on there. New head, obviously, uh, with the classic Carnage alternate head. I've never seen Morbius like this before. He looks awesome. I'm probably looking forward to this figure the most in this wave. We are getting a uh, Ghost Spider, aka Gwenum, and Miles Venomized. I thought they were going to be part of a Venomized Marvel Legends wave. Guess not. Uh, Captain America, don't forget, is Venomized and a Walmart exclusive coming next month, I believe, September. Next and final character is. Age? 
I'm not familiar with this guy, and I could be saying his name wrong. Regardless, we are getting Venom Pool, and I am stoked. No idea when these drop. Hopefully, uh, we have some time to breathe, but they're likely going to drop soon and before the end of the year.